Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, in case you're new here, hello. Welcome to my channel. Today we are in my kitchen talking about another list of foods. I've been doing a lot of these videos lately and you guys seem to be really enjoying them. I've done 10 foods I buy every week, 15 foods I buy organic, 10 foods I never buy organic, and today we are talking about 10 foods I think you should buy frozen over fresh, and I will tell you why. Before we hop right in, I want you guys to pause what you're doing and hit that red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel. It's free and I post here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You think I would remember it by now? I always have to think about, it. wait, yeah, three times. It sounds crazy, but it happens here every single week. So let's hop right in and I will share with you guys what the 10 foods that I think you should buy frozen over fresh. So we are just gonna hop right in. I have everything frozen out here laid on the counter and I gotta film this quick because it's frozen and I don't want it to thaw. So first up, we have some frozen mixed berries. Now, yes, I love me some fresh berries and I, sh I will just put a little disclaimer just because I'm saying that I think you should buy these foods or frozen over fresh does not mean that I never buy them fresh. I do if I, if I need for a certain recipe or if I need it fresh for a certain reason, but there's reasons why I think these are great uh, to get frozen over fresh, and I will tell you why about each single one. So frozen berries is because berries go bad so quickly. I buy them from the grocery store, I swear within a couple days they have mold on them, and then I'm sad because they're expensive and I don't get to use them all. So frozen is great because you can just thaw them and add them to a like to a bowl of oatmeal. You can just like mix them right in and they thaw pretty quickly. This one here has a mixture of blueberries, blackberries, cherries. This is a super fruit blend. And I just like that I can just have fresh berries on hand whenever I need it and I don't have to think like, wait, I have berries, but are they moldy yet? Because most likely they are. So love, I always have frozen berries on hand in the freezer. The next fruit, this is one I recently just started finding frozen and I was like, yes, finally, whoever thought of this was genius. It is frozen pomegranate seeds or arils, whatever they're technically called. I call them pomegranate seeds because there's a seed in them. So these are already shelled for you. You know, there's honestly so many ways to open a pomegranate. This does it for you. You don't even need to know how to open one and get your white shirt stained and your fingers stained and all that mess all over the kitchen. You just buy it already de-seeded for you. And I've already been trying this out on oatmeal and it's just, it tastes really good. Like I'm actually so, I was gonna open it, but I'm probably gonna make a mess. But I was just so shocked. There's a recipe on here. Oh, salads, yes, that's a great idea. Pop them into a salad. They thaw pretty quickly, so you can really add them to anything that you would put pomegranate seeds on, and you don't have to deal with the mess. So I love when I can buy foods that are frozen that save me time in the kitchen, are more convenient, but I'm not necessarily buying like a processed frozen fruit. food. This is literally just pomegranate seeds, ready to go for whatever you need. Okay, so since we're still in the fruit category, and this technically is a fruit, I got some avocado chunks. This trend started started happening, I remember, because it was when I was working on the Health Nut Cookbook. It was happening in like early 2018, and I was like, wait, what? There's frozen avocado at the grocery store? Like, what is life right now? So it's already ready to go. If you wanna add this to a smoothie or make like a chocolate pudding or something like that, you have avocado already peeled, it's ripe and frozen for you. Is there a recipe on the back here? It says you can make guacamole. What? What? You can make guacamole with frozen avocado? Bless you, Cashew. She's sneezing. She's got, she's got allergies. Not really, but she's sneezing. So I just think this is so genius and I've just been loving it. And yeah, I mean, you can obviously freeze your own avocado, but like knowing exactly when it's ripe is sometimes a pain. I get it. I'm like a master at it because I eat way too many avocados. But I mean, the guesswork is done for you and you know that these are ripe and ready to use for whatever you need and even guacamole apparently. So I'm gonna have to try that. Okay, so now we're going into vegetables. There's quite a few vegetables that I really like to buy frozen. So this one here, I've been buying frozen for years. It is edamame, so this one's shelled. So it's just like the little pods, not the pods, like the little beans in the pod. They're already removed for you. I will sometimes buy the ones in the pod so I can steam them and put some like tamari sauce on them and do the whole like scrape your teeth on them like you would at a sushi restaurant. But I really like these. You can just like lightly steam them and throw them on a salad. 
in a Asian noodle dish. Like there's so many uses, uses for these. I'm looking at the back of all these to see if there's recipes. No, not this one. It says sprinkle with coarse sea salt and enjoy or saute cooked edamame with sesame oil and sprinkle with sesame seeds. Perfect for salads or a soup topper. I have not had these on soup. These would be really good on like a split pea soup or something, I bet. But yeah, I really like these. They're just a really great little side dish to have with your dinner or like on a salad for lunch. I really like them. Speaking of peas in a pod, we have actual peas. And I think having peas on hand in the freezer are just like such an essential because it, like there's so many things you can just throw peas into. You're making a shepherd's pie, peas. Oh, in pasta is really good, in soups, in stews. Like there's things that you're like, oh yeah, I need some peas for this. It's in your freezer, ready to go. I just think they're like one of the most convenient things to have on hand because you can basically throw peas into everything and anything. So I always have those on hand. And what goes with, what's like the, the, the sister or the brother of peas? Corn, right? You always see like the mixtures of peas, corn, and carrots. I actually have that mixture in the, fr in the freezer right now. But I just have some organic corn here. I usually only buy organic when it comes to corn because a lot of corn is genetically modified. So if you're buying organic, it should help solve that issue. So I like to get uh, already corn that's already off the cob. So this is another thing that just makes things that much more convenient and easier on life because we got a lot of things on our plate, pun intended. And, or I guess no pun intended, but you like, if this can save you some time, you know, if you want, you can just roast up these kernels and throw them into like a grilled salad. And it's like you had fresh corn on the cob, but you didn't have to cut it off the cob. You know what I mean? So I just love this. Same thing, whatever you really add peas to, you can add corn to. Although I don't know if I'd add it to pasta. Maybe like a pasta salad I would. But I think this is just such a great thing to have on hand. Cause like sometimes you don't want to boil and cut the, the corn off the cob. You just want it off the cob. The next thing is butternut squash. So I've only really seen butternut squash. I don't know if they have other ones frozen, but the reason why I like to get butternut squash frozen is because let's be honest, it's a pain to peel. It saves your fingers because let's be honest, it's dangerous sometimes to cut a butternut squash and it's just ready to go. It just makes things simple. Roast it, top it on a salad, throw it in a soup. It's ready to go. Next item. Mango, I love mango. It's probably one of my favorite fruits. I love eating it fresh, but like cutting and peeling a mango is a pain in the butt. And the fact that I can get it already in like frozen chunks to add to my smoothies or even eating these just as is, like as a little dessert, it tastes like ice cream or so sorbet. It's delicious. You could make these into a frozen dessert in your blender with some frozen banana and make like a banana and ice cream. It's so good. And yeah, I like that they're already, whoever chopped these did a good job because they're always like perfect chunks and they're just a pain to cut sometimes. I love you, but I hate cutting you. All right, next we have, you guys know I love my greens. I love my spinach. I have some chopped spinach here. So this one's organic because you guys know I buy, I usually buy my leafy greens organic because you're not peeling it or anything. But as much as I love fresh spinach for smoothies, Frozen spinach is great for dishes where you're gonna need a lot of spinach because if you take fresh spinach and you put it into a dish, it wilts down to nothing. There's like memes about how people will be like, oh, this was 10 cups of spinach and it's like this much. So it definitely shrinks down. So if I can buy already frozen spinach, it's already kind of shrunk down a bit, if that makes sense. And this is great to add to like lasagna, to pastas. I usually will add it to things that I'm cooking. You can put frozen spinach, obviously, in smoothies. I just personally like to do fresh. I always have fresh greens on hand, uh, but you could use this, or if like your organic spinach is about to go bad, just freeze it and then add it to things. But I just think that, yeah, buying it already frozen and condensed down, it's not gonna be as a huge shocker when it shrinks down into nothing, so. Last but not least, I think we, yeah, went through them all. We have some fish. So this one's rainbow trout. This is just what we have on hand right now. I usually will alternate between like cod or salmon. Right now I have rainbow trout. And fish is something that I like to buy frozen. Sometimes I will buy it fresh if I'm gonna eat it that night and it happens to be like on sale or something's going, or it's like, I don't know, for whatever reason. There's times where I buy it fresh. But for the most part, the ones that you're buying fresh have been frozen and then they've thawed them. So just 
buy them frozen and then you can thaw them when you're ready to eat them. So I personally just buy my fish frozen because you know, we don't live by the ocean. So whatever fish is coming to Ontario probably has been frozen at some point. So just buy it frozen and then like I said, you can thaw it when you're ready to eat it. There you have it. Those are the 10 foods that I think you should buy frozen over fresh and why I think so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what three foods you guys always buy frozen over fresh. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to know. And my freezer is gonna be like so packed right now. I'm just gonna be eating frozen food all week long. And you know, anyone that says that frozen isn't as fresh as fresh foods is honestly like they're frozen at their peak ripeness. So if anything, they're like, they're fresher because they've been ripening longer on the vines or wherever they're coming from. So personally, I do find the taste is delicious. Sometimes I'll buy fresh if like it's a texture thing. Not all foods thaw nicely. So that's just something to keep in mind. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe. It's free. I post here on this channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I hope, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I forgot what I was going to say. Bye guys, see you in my next video.